talk, man. And you guys, a lot of you guys, you know, started battling too, man. You had epic battles with each other. You know what I'm saying? Uh, take us back, you know, since we got both of you on the phone now, man. What was that epic battle like between uh, Nip and Karina? How was that battle? Well, I mean, I'm 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 gonna speak my little piece. I let Nip close it out on that. For me, it was like it was just a build up, you know, because before it had happened. We were just, it was just animosity, like, man, I got to get nipped. You know, I'm sure he was the same way, man, I got to get this food, you know. So it was just an animosity that had built up rival schools, you know. And, you know, just like I say in the song, it was a respect. And it was like, okay, man, we going to set this thing up. And we set it up over the phone. I remember we set it up like we going to do it. But one thing that we both knew was like, Okay, we're going to have to find a neutral ground to do it on. You know, that's how the whole battleground came about because neither one of us was going to go to the other one's uh, area and, and try to pull pull off the the, uh, the, the upset. on, on that's, like, that's like going in Golden State and beating the Warriors on their home court. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody going to try to do that. But um, it was um, it was cool for me because it, it gave me a chance really just to um, – to compete on on that high level, and also to see how similar me and him was, even in the fact that at that time we didn't like each other, we was rivals. But as the battle went on, we realized that we was really a lot alike because it was certain stuff that he was doing and I was doing at the same time. I, I can remember uh, at one point in the battle. First of all, I'm used to I'm used to just, I'm used to smashing cats. In one or two rounds, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? He used to smash and cast in one, just like cat. He, you know, usually it don't go no three rounds or nothing like that. But by the time we had just went back and forth, yeah. back and forth, back and forth, you look up five rounds later, and we still rapping. Now it's getting thin. Like, man, what I'm gonna say next? So I pulled out like a list of some raps that I had, like just the titles of my raps, like, because I'm forgetting, I, mean, I need to see what I'm going to say next. I had like a list in my pocket. I look up, he got a list. <laughs> you know what I'm so it's like right there and there, it's like we, I realized, man, we, we a lot alike. And then when the battle was over, when the battle was over, it's like everybody kind of went their own separate ways. But it was crazy because me and him, we walked to the same bus stop. It's like, so it's a situation where it's like, okay, I just got through going to war with this dude. Everybody else is gone, but now it's just me and him, we walking to the same bus stop to get on the same bus going in the same direction. So we just sat on the bus and started chopping it up. And we've been cool ever since. We got cool after that. But I let him, you know, tell his, his angle on it. Man, shit. <laughs> you just about summed it up, you know what I'm saying? But I will say this, though, you know, you know, I used to hang around Cat, Cat and Sad Warfare. Cat, Cat and Sad Warfare was was the two hardest at, at Jones. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't even rap at the time. I remember going to the club just with, with Cat and Sad Warfare, man, and they reckon, they reckon at, at the club right mm-hmm. there on MLK across from, the, um, across from the flea market. Remember that, Cat? That's that's animal house. Yeah, animal house. Animal house. Animal house. Yeah. Yeah. Cat yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Warfare, you know, they used to always, you know, they used to be murdering, murdering the mic up there. I couldn't rap, so, you know, I, so I used to hang with Cat a lot. So I would go to Cat House, you know, saying after the, you know, after they wrecked at the thing, I was just hanging, I would hang with Cat, you know what I'm saying? And that's how I picked up on the, on the, you know, on rapping, period, you know what I'm saying, just being around and just, you know, picking up on it, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, I, re- I always had that little feistiness in me, I just didn't know, you know, what I what I wanted to do, but rapping just sounds so good, but, you know, Ice-T was my idol at that time, and still is my idol, and Too Short is too, but anyway, but Ice-T was, was, was really out, you know what I'm saying, first, so I, I just wanted to... I just liked how hard Ice T was, so I just took on that and just turned it into my own, you know, what I'm saying my own, you know, body language of, of how I, how my thinking was, you know, what I'm saying. So, 
you know, then, you know, like I say, it was Cat and Savoir Fair, you know, controlling Jones at that time. This real talk. And, um, you know, by, by the time Cat, by the time Cat and Savoir Fair um, left, then that's when I took, that's when I was ready to, to take over. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we had one we had one desperado named K Rock Death. <laughs> K Rock. Yeah. I was just think about it, man. K Rock Death, you know what I'm saying? Hey, prayers. K Rock Death if if he was is didn't didn't he pass away, Reno? Yeah. I don't know. I, I heard I heard jail, I heard he died. I really don't even know what the real truth uh, is, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, yeah. He 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 what made the one? Nah, he did. He is. Oh, yeah, he was yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Fred, yeah. Fred, so if K. Rock Death was, was alive, he'll probably be on this phone right now. He'll be, yeah, he'll man. be, you know, he'll be he'll be right in the right in the top um seven. He'll be right up here with us because he was just he was just that hard, you know. He's he's hard, hard, boy, you know? So Listen, and Mar- Martini was hard, so yep. you know we had a gang. We had a gang of hard rappers at Jones, man. You know what I'm saying? You had to be you had to be harder than a motherfucker to go to Jones, because at, at any day, you know, you could be dethroned. You, you had to go in your class. You, like, you weren't even you weren't even doing your work. You was writing rhymes in class. You weren't even yeah. doing no work. You, you were trying to stay ahead. You know what I'm saying? And you're just trying to stay ahead, and like like Reno said, you know, Murder One was in charge, was a consultant to to set up all the battles. Seems <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the promoter. And, and look, once me and Reno got real real cool, shit, I used to go. Reno used to invite me to Sterling. You know what I'm saying? I had a couple of little culprits up there that used to talk talk trash a little bit just on the on the fly. So you know, Reno would invite me up there, and then I go I go mass two or three of them up there. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it is what it is, man. That just really what happened, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. truth be told, like I say, man, I used to hang around Cat and Sad Warfare, which was the which was the hardest two niggas that um you know what I'm saying at Jones period point blank and it is what it is so I just picked up you know I picked up and then when they left then that's when I took over so everybody had their time man you know what I'm saying in this in this thing you know what I'm saying so the the cat the the fair and kind that cat was now basically me AC murder one K Rock Death Martini, you know what I'm saying, and you and you had to be you had to be hard just to even be around, man. So it is what it is. I just me, I just didn't want to rap like I didn't want to rap like everybody else did. I wanted to just do my own thing. So that's 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 what happened. You know what I'm saying? Cats cats really don't really be knowing how how I started. You know what I'm saying? But shit, I started hanging with Cat and Sad Warfare, man, going to them clubs and watching them, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you just picked up. I just picked up on it, man. It just took it my way. Yeah. 